Limit switches are electromechanical contact sensors. They are a great option to sense and detect the presence or position of an object. Do you know how they work? In this episode of Radwell's How It Works series, we're going to explore how limit switches operate. For starters, let's review the main components of limit switches to provide a better understanding of how they work. On the outside of a limit switch, the two most important components are the actuator and the contact block. On the inside of a switch, the three most important components are the mechanical link, electrical switch, and the electrical contacts. Now that we've reviewed the basic components of limit switches, let's talk about how they work. First, a moving object or device comes into contact with the actuator. This contact will begin a domino effect. The actuator's movement will cause the mechanical link to move with it. Then the mechanical link will cause the electrical switch to move. This movement will bring the electrical switch into contact with the electrical contacts. This contact will either open or close the electrical signal, triggering a signal to the output device. Limit switches come in many types, but all will operate on similar principles. An actuator will be contacted, and a chain reaction will be created, causing an electrical signal to be made. If you like this information on limit switches, like this video and subscribe to our channel for more information on industrial products and processes. For information about Radwell, visit us on the web at radwell.com or connect with us on social media. Thanks for watching.